Time to play with some play. Alright, today I do the loincloth and I've been working on it and in fact I'm going to turn off the camera now and still work on it. Um, it, it there are tr ways of doing things like this in the uh, instructional DVD on creating uh, sweet grass. I have uh, the technique. Um, I'm trying to think what other one. Uh, I think sweet grass is well, it could be Plains Warrior also. Um, the link to my instructional DVD uh, reviews is uh, in the uh, description below. It also shows how to buy my instructional DVDs and, uh, and you can look at each one uh, individually, uh, the, a review of each one, and uh, it makes a good Christmas gift. It's getting kind of late in the year. To, do that, but uh, I think we have at least a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks before uh, items sent out won't get there in time. But anyway, uh, all the uh, shipping costs and mailing costs, uh, or actually mailing costs, are included in the price. And no matter where you are in the world, you don't pay anything extra for mailing and shipping. You may have to pay some duties when it comes into your country, but uh, that's the government, that, not me. But anyway, um, also another thing I'd like to say, if you like my videos, click the like button and then click the subscribe and also click the little bell so you can be updated every time I do a video and uh, I put it up on the web on YouTube. Alright, I'm going to get back to work on my loincloth and I'll be back with you as soon as I get to a point where I can show you. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna lower the uh, board back down. I will probably raise it up again at some point in the future, but not today. Okay. It's hard to tell how the uh, loincloth is going to look until you get it down on the uh, normal level. Okay, I like that. I like the view of that. Uh... Loincloth. I made the loincloth in a way that I can take it apart, take it off of the sculpture so they can make a mold of it and what's behind it. And uh, you have to do that or else it'll end up costing you a fortune to get anything cast. Now I'm going to put some texture into the loincloth. Since this is a cotton cloth, this uh, loincloth, I want to make it look like it's been sat on, uh, unpre unpressed, and uh, wrinkly. And I'm trying to find the right tool for that, and I can't find my tool. At the moment. 
Well, I just hit this uh, loincloth with Bronson all, and I just noticed that my recording was off. I don't know why it was, but it was off on both cameras. I'm just putting some wrinkles into the uh, loincloth to show that it's cloth and not uh, a heavy blanket and also show that he wrinkled it by sitting on it overnight. That's going to do it for today. Uh, I think that's uh, worked out pretty nice. I gotta, I'm probably going to put this aside, this whole piece aside for a while because I'm getting too deep into it and I'm getting uh, burned out on it. Uh, if you uh, work on a piece too much, uh, if the initial fire uh, leaves you, then uh, you're left with uh, maybe muddying up the uh, subject later on. So I think what I'm going to do is set this aside and let it uh, get out, out of my mind and uh, maybe do something else. I don't know. All right, everybody, I'm going to say good night and then I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.